As a beginner, when you decide to buy a new telescope, the first thing you want to see from your telescope is the moon and planets. Watching the moon from the telescope is easy, and you can do that even with a very basic telescope. But if you want to see all the planets, then you need a good telescope. Some of the planets like Neptune in our solar system are so far away that even with a good big aperture telescope, you can't see them clearly as you can see Mars or Jupiter. Usually when a telescope says that you can see planets, it means you can see planets up to Saturn clearly. If you go beyond that, you will not be able to see a detailed image of these planets as you can see of Mars and Jupiter. There are some factors that you should consider before buying a telescope for viewing planets. Aperture. Aperture is the most important factor of a telescope to choose from. The bigger the aperture, the crisper and clearer the image will be. Usually 80 to 90 millimeter aperture will show you a decent image of a planet. If you want to observe the details of the planets, then the aperture of the telescope should be in between 100 millimeters to 150 millimeters. 130 millimeter aperture is a sweet spot for viewing planets. Focal length. While choosing a telescope for viewing planets, a telescope with longer focal length is preferred. We have explained this in this video, so do check it out to know more in detail. Longer focal lengths offer more focused and narrower images of an object, while shorter focal lengths give a wider view of an object. Because of the longer focal length, the object appears larger and you can see much more detail of an object. Magnification. Given that the eyepiece of a telescope has its own focal length, magnification totally depends on the aperture size of the telescope. But it should not go above the highest useful magnification, as there will be more noise in the image than details of the object. So considering this, today we will see three telescopes which are good for viewing planets. The first telescope is Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT Telescope. This is one of the telescopes from Celestron's Nexstar SLT series. This is a Maksutov Kazgrain type telescope. It has an aperture of 127 millimeters or around 5 inches with a focal length of 1500 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 12. Its highest useful magnification is 300 times and the lowest useful magnification is 18 times. The total weight of the telescope is 18 pounds. The telescope is light and easy to carry to the dark sky locations. The telescope has a computerized alt azimuth go-to mount. The mount comes with a data of 40,000 celestial objects. The telescope also comes with the sky align technology of the Celestron. With this, you can easily align this telescope. As the telescope has a longer focal length, you can see the details of the planets clearly. With this telescope, you can see the Moon, Venus, and its phases, and details of Mars, Jupiter, and its moons, and Saturn with its rings visible. You'll also be able to see some bright deep sky objects with this telescope. This telescope is one of the best for its price point and the things it offers. It's a great telescope as the first telescope for a beginner. The second telescope is the Celestron Omni XLT 120 Refractor. This is again one more telescope from Celestron. The telescope is from the Omni series. This is a refractor type telescope. If you don't know what exactly are the types of telescopes, then please watch this video on the channel. The telescope is a doublet refractor. It has an aperture of 120 millimeters or around 4.7 inches and a focal length of 1000 millimeters. Its focal ratio is eight. Its highest useful magnification is 283 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 17 times. The total weight of this telescope is 36 pounds. All the optics on this telescope are coated with the Starbright XLT coatings, which ensure maximum throughput of light. The telescope does not have any spherical aberrations, so the images you will see will be crisp with lots of detail. The telescope comes with a CG4 German equatorial mount. The mount has slow motion controls for precise tracking and locating the objects. The focal length is 1000 millimeters, so the telescope will show you good clear images of planets. With this telescope, you can see the moon, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and its rings. One of the negatives for a beginner is that it comes with an equatorial mount. 
it might be difficult for a beginner to use the equatorial mount initially. But if you're into stargazing for a long term, then learning to use an equatorial mount is the best thing you can do. If you already have a mount, then you can only buy the optical tube assembly of this telescope. So do check out the links in the description. And the third telescope is Celestron StarSense 8-inch Dobsnian. You can buy any 6 to 8-inch Dobsnian telescope. Celestron's new recently launched Dobsnian telescope is one of the advanced Dobsnian type telescopes. We have done a full review of this series and you can watch it here. This Dobsnian telescope is advanced and super beginner friendly. This telescope has an aperture of 203 millimeters and focal length of 1,200 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 5.9, its highest useful magnification is 480 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 29 times. All the surfaces are coated in this telescope for maximum light throughput. With this telescope, you can see the planets like Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and its rings. You can also see deep space objects like the Andromeda Galaxy, Nebula, and star clusters. This is one of the best telescopes you'll buy for the price you pay for it. So that's it. We hope you enjoyed knowing about these different telescopes. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.